Brexit means UK crackdown on menthol cigarettes can begin. Brexit means health chiefs can finally launch a probe into cigarettes designed to swerve a ban on menthol flavoring. An investigation while we were tied to Brussels was blocked by meddling Eurocrats. But now we have left the block Public Health England confirmed it would start testing products that campaigners claim were cynically marketed for children. A ban on characterizing flavors, including menthol, came into force last May because the fresh taste masks the tobacco and is seen as luring young smokers. Fee was stopped from investigating or stripping the products from shop shelves by the EU, which insisted on a Europe-wide approach, instead.it meant the government was forced to comply with the EU's tobacco products directive until the end of the transition period. Brexit freedoms now mean that EU can no longer overrule the UK, so Fee an agency of the Department of Health and Social Care has reopened its investigation into JTI, Britain's best-selling tobacco company. It said, the government committed to comply with the EU's tobacco products directive until the United Kingdom and the EU's transition period ended. The investigation into the selling of cigarette products that have a characterizing menthol flavor is currently going through the process in accordance with the European Union, EU Commission Implementing Regulation, EU 2016-779. Fee has been preparing to begin testing products of interest, now the transition period is complete and is in the process of commissioning an independent expert assessment of several products. In the meantime, Fee has communicated with manufacturers to alert them of its concerns that certain tobacco products that may have a characterizing menthol flavor are still being sold. JTI is estimated to make £3 million every day its menthol replacements brands are sold in the UK, capitalizing on rivals who scrapped their products to comply with the new law. Deborah Arnott, chief executive of Action of Smoking and Health, said, close quote flavors are added to make cigarettes easier to smoke which makes it easier for children to get addicted. That's why the ban was introduced. Just this month the government launched a consultation on whether the ban was working. Clearly it's not as JTI has put menthol reimagined products on the market, arguing they don't include characterizing flavors. This is clearly a loophole, but it is easy to fix the government should ban all flavors, characterizing or not. It is thought 280 children take up smoking every day in England. Health Secretary Matt Hancock is pushing for a smoke-free society by 2030. Around a quarter of cigarettes smoked at the time of the ban were menthol, and most manufacturers scrapped them to comply. But JTI part owned by the Japanese government, launched a new range including Sterling New Dual, Mayfair New Green and Benson and Hedges New Blue Dual. The branding was in the same green packaging, and even the names were kept the same as JTI's previous familiar menthol range, but with the word new inserted in front. They were launched under the slogan Menthol Reimagined. It even set up a password-protected online training hub for retailers, teaching them in how to push its new fresh range, as a direct replacement to menthol smokers seeking a hit once the ban came in. Today news. Latest news. Please support our work.